I'm here with metalsmith Mark Nelson, and today we're talking about charms. And Mark, you are going to show us how to tumble them. Sure. Uh, tumbling is a great way to, let's say if you have a charm bracelet or something like that, it's getting mm -hmm. a little dirty over time, mm -hmm. a little dingy. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to kind of clean it up and brighten mm -hmm. it up at the same time. All right. And uh, just want to talk to you about how to set up the tumbler and to understand how the tumbler works. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to start with um, how the tumbler works. Okay. And that is, it's, it's steel shot mm -hmm. and um, stainless steel. And you put steel. it inside a drum, right? We're going to put it inside a drum that the drum's going to turn, mm -hmm. and, and your pieces are going to roll inside that stainless steel mm -hmm. shot. And what happens is that steel shot rubs mm -hmm. on the piece and brightens it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So the friction? Is that what it takes it It's not really it a friction. It's, no. it's a um, just rubbing. It's a gliding across. It's okay. one harder metal rubbing against a softer So metal. removing that surface tarnish, basically. No, it's not, not going to really remove tarnish dirt. either. It okay. just brightens whatever's there. And let's okay. talk more about that, though. Okay. Uh, because whatever goes in the tumbler mm -hmm. comes out bright and shiny. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look over here at these flowers. Mm -hmm. So we have here a raw cast flower straight from the, the casting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we put that in the tumbler and it comes out bright and shiny. Okay. Okay. Now, if we oxidize that flower all black, mm -hmm. it comes out bright and shiny black. Oh, okay. okay. So you can see it's a little bit grayer. A little bit grayer, which is mm -hmm. a very neat finish, actually. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's also not going to remove scratches. So here's a 220 scratch, mm -hmm. 200 gr grit sandpaper, mm -hmm. and then there's a 400 grit, mm -hmm. and then the 600 grit. And if you look closely enough, you'll see that that sanding marks are still there, mm -hmm. but now they're bright and it's shiny. It's just shinier. Right. Okay. And now what else would you use a tumbler for? Nothing. Polishing rocks. Oh, well, polishing rocks. Okay. <laughs> And uh, that's always a fun thing to do, is polish rocks. Mm -hmm. But for jewelry and uh, the charm bracelets, it's a great mm -hmm. way to clean them up and okay. brighten them up. So let me show you how to set it up. All right. You guys could take your, your barrel, mm -hmm. and they're going to have a lid of some type. This one happens to unscrew, which is very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And there is a minimum amount of steel shot that you need. Okay. If you use too little, it can actually um, damage your, your jewelry. Oh, well, how do you know how much? Uh, you need it about half full okay. or about a quarter full. All right. And um, in this case, it's about three pounds a shot. Oh, wow. It's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put that in there. As you can see, it's about a quarter full. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you need now is a burnishing compound. This compound is like a soap mm -hmm. that reduces the friction mm -hmm. so it won't heat up. Mm -hmm. And it also cleans some jewelry mm -hmm. and allows uh, uh, the... the, the, the um, Burn, the burnishing to be lubricated and, and glide real easily. Okay. There is a, um, you start with water, mm -hmm. and you're going to cover the steel shot uh, by about half an inch. Okay. You're not going to fill up the whole thing. And it doesn't matter if your water is hot or cold. Doesn't hot or cold. You know what does matter though? What's that? It shouldn't be tap water. Oh. It should kind? be distilled. Oh, okay. Okay. That's important to note then. Um, and you're going to use a, a burnishing compound that's made specifically for burnishing. You know, some people mm -hmm. like to use a dishwashing soap or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it works okay, but, you know, I really wouldn't wash my dish, um, my hair with dishwashing mm -hmm. liquid mm -hmm. or my clothes. Mm -hmm. Soaps are designed for specific purposes. Mm -hmm. So you want to use the burnishing you do. compound. Okay. And if you just saw, I just put a little drop in. It doesn't mm -hmm. take a whole lot because it is a concentrate. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and put in our bracelet. Okay. And I'll actually put in two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now one little trick, this has a rubber gasket, mm -hmm. so just kind of wet that a little bit. Just make your seal a bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And kind of make sure not to cross thread it. Mm -hmm. And neat thing about this one is that you can actually see oh, that yeah. it's sealed with that darker ring mm -hmm. around there. And once you see that, you know it's good. Okay. Okay. And then you're ready to tumble. Ready to rock and roll. Okay. We're going to put that on there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and plug it in, mm -hmm. just real briefly, so you can see what's going on. Sure. Yeah, plug it in. Oh wow! Now, if you take a look, you can see it cascading. Mm -hmm. Okay. And your pieces are just rolling around in there, mm -hmm. getting bright and shiny. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of cascading action you want to see. Okay. Now, um, how long do you want to do that for? Mm -hmm. Two hours is good. It's, oh. That's about the max as you need. Mm -hmm. It's not going to do more than that after mm -hmm. two hours, and. Um, now, I noticed the bracelets that you put in look like they're sterling, but could you use other metals in here? You certainly can. Oh, okay. Uh, definitely gold, mm -hmm. silver. If you do copper, it's kind of best to do copper separate if you can. Because it's softer? Um, it's just different. It, um, it can actually end up with a situation where you're, if it's copper on silver, mm -hmm. you pull it out, your silver could look copper. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so some cross contamination there. Right, and that has mm -hmm. a lot to do with the the type of water that you use. Oh, now would you put something with stones, or would you only use metal in the tumbler? You can do stones, but you got to mm -hmm. be careful. Okay. Anything soft like amber, coral, mm -hmm. turquoise mm -hmm. um, can get chewed up. Okay. And there again, keep it to around twenty minutes, and you'll mm -hmm. be fine. Mm -hmm. And do you monitor it during that time? Nah, just walk no. away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so great about these things. You put mm -hmm. it in there, you walk away. You leave. And what happens if you leave it in too long? What happens if you leave it too long is it'll, it'll get really kind of ugly. Yeah, ugly. this looks a little nasty. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we going to do with this? Um, no big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, all you need to do is, is dump this out mm -hmm. and clean the shot. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I just actually run a faucet through here mm -hmm. and, and swish it out and work it out mm -hmm. with my hands. And then put in some steel shot cleaner. Mm -hmm and run it for about 10 minutes mm -hmm. and do it again. Repeat so the is the reason this is darker because it was just left in here too long? It left in there too long. It tumbled mm -hmm. more than two hours, which mm -hmm. seems to be the cutoff time. Mm -hmm. You know, if a little bit longer than two hours, that's when things start to go a little mm -hmm. weird. Oh, do so, you clean the shot between each time you tumble? I don't. And um, what I do is I do rinse it. Mm -hmm. I'll put it under the tap water and rinse it. And mm -hmm. uh, But I'll clean it about after every fifth use. Oh, OK. All right, well, this is so interesting, and what a great way to clean, your, clean up your charms. It's very easy to okay, do. Okay, well, thank you, Mark, thank and you. we'll be right back with Nina.